Trying to hit an MLB The Show 22 can be an adventure. You can make some swings that question why you're even playing the game and or ruining that bat because that pitch just looked too good. So with that, I'm going to go over a few things that can help improve many aspects of your hitting in MLB The Show 22. So all right, let's get it. Now before I get into the video, and I mentioned this last year, but it bears repeating. Throughout the year, you're going to have to come to terms with the fact that the game doesn't really like you like that. No matter how far you hit the ball, how high your exit velocity is, you're never going to get a hit or home run 100% of the time. The game will cheat you. Perfect's going right at fielders, balls fall into the warning track, whatever. Accepting this reality will hopefully lessen the amount of stress the game will cause you throughout the year. Your goal is to square up the ball so often it won't matter in the long run if the game did you dirty in the fifth inning versus Nolan Harper lover 57. Now there's that moment a lot of gamers have all come across when after that three pitch strikeout, you knew, and most importantly your opponent knew, that you're fighting for your life trying to hit that fastball. The first thing to realize with in fastballs is knowing up and in fastballs you have to swing early to get around on it. Trying to time it up like it's a pitch down the middle is gonna get you in trouble. It's basically as soon as you see it coming in, go for it, or else it will beat you. Another trick is get your fingers moving before the pitch. With the left stick, having your finger sitting in an idle position can be all the difference in you not being able to reach an up and in fastball, even if you know you need to swing early, as that split second it takes to begin moving your stick up can cause you to not get your PCI there in time. And if you do, you're late, which is where the moving your left stick around before the pitch comes in. So you're already generating momentum to get your left stick where you need, and an added help of not allowing you to drop your PCI on pitches down the middle as well. As far as the button press, get into custom practice and tell the pitcher to throw nothing but fastballs up and in. Now start tapping the top of the normal swing button over and over until the fastball comes in. Now you probably swung at the ball super early because your momentum tapping the button was all out of control. Now the next pitch slowed down your taps a bit. Did your timing become a lot better as a result? Doing stuff like this can help speed up your reaction time to overpowering pitches with just a slight adjustment. Now if you're using a camera view that points towards the outfield, you're going to need to make note of where the ball first appears when the pitcher releases the ball, and have that become where you're staring at instead of the pitcher. Because you know pitchers have different deliveries and releases, so having a fixed point to focus on cancels out the extra stuff and has you only focused on the ball. The ideal stadiums to read pitches are those with solid backgrounds, but unfortunately you will come across some parks that the pitcher releases the ball in front of some bushes or something which it will become much harder to focus on a single spot on the screen, but it is still achievable. Now, if you also find yourself struggling at the play, one of the easiest adjustments you can make is simply adjusting your camera view to find something that you feel the most comfortable with. The strike zone cameras are extremely popular because of how close you are to the pitcher, which lets you tell balls from strikes a lot easier. But not everybody likes playing on this. Maybe the ball comes in too fast now or they want to see the batter. So I encourage you to not be afraid of changing your camera view as each one has its pros and cons and lets you see things a lot different. So if you're struggling with hitting, try altering your camera view right now. Now last year, MLB The Show introduced the ability for gamers to practice against specific pitches and locations in custom practice. And this addition was big. This lets you address any specific weakness you may have at the plate. Both years I've always practiced being able to hit the ball right down the middle first and work from there. Because if I can't even do that, you know. Do you have a certain pitch you're hitting one for a hundred against? Well, you can set it up here and practice nothing but batting against that certain pitch in a specific location. So you can start to build that memory on how it moves to increase your pitch recognition. And once you feel comfortable with it, add in another pitch in that same location that has a wildly different speed to put your pitch recognition to the test. Then add in more and more different locations and pitches to simulate playing against an actual human opponent. Don't be afraid of getting custom practice as it can definitely help you make the necessary adjustments to hit or lay off certain pitches you may struggle with. Now new to MOB to show 22 is something called the PCI Anchor System which lets you cheat your PCI in one of nine different directions at the plate. When enabled, if you click in the left stick before the pitcher starts his wind up and move it to your desired location, once you let go of the left stick, it will lock in your placement and have it cheated in whatever direction you want. 
This can help you get to jump on players who like to pepper certain areas of the zone often without holding your PCI there with your finger. Now something else that can get exploited if your opponent notices that you can't do it is you must be able to take pitches the opposite way. Which basically means, and this is a common problem when you're first starting the game, is to not try and pull everything and respect the fact that your timing is going to be different depending on where the pitch is thrown, even if it's the same exact pitch. On an inside pitch, you're going to want to swing early. On something down the middle, you're going to want to swing um, normal. And anything on the outside part, you're going to want to wait the longest. And all three pitch locations can get you a good or perfect contact. Now the game does reward guys for early swings or outside pitches that land for hits, but you don't want to rely on that. So you want to develop the patience to recognize the pitch is going outside, wait the necessary amount of time to get the best contact, and pepper it down the line, instead of trying to pull everything 500 feet. Now if you're a long time directional or timing player, get off of that and immediately switch over to zone hitting. Zone hitting, which can seem overwhelming at first, gives you the most control and best chance by far at controlling where you want the ball to go. With zone hitting, you're given a PCI, which stands for Plate Coverage Indicator, which is the little thing right here, and the goal is to match it with wherever the ball ends up landing at in the strike zone. And from there, there's three levels to the PCI, the center, inner, and outer levels, that you can turn on and off each level and also change the color of it. Where me personally, I like to use any color but white. And you can even customize what levels of the PCI you want to disappear as the pitcher starts his wind up. There isn't a magic setup to this, so you can customize this to your liking anytime, even during a game, even during an at bat where you pause five times to try five different setups. What? And lastly, now the building block to winning and having successful at bats is being patient and not swing at every pitch that you see. That type of style can work against you very quickly and your opponent will start to just throw you junk so you can get yourself out. Then his pitches will gain confidence, you'll get mad, throw a controller and quit. That's not a good time. You want to force your opponent to have to throw something over the plate because they're not going to do it out of the goodness of their heart. So maybe looking for something only high in the zone in the beginning of that bat, for example, can get the pitch count higher and get you a pitch that you can hit. Even when you think you 100% have to swing, let's say a 0-2 count, you really don't. Your opponent is probably not going to give you something to lift really far. This is when you start to see that trusty curve in the dirt, slider away, fastball thrown to the moon, just to test your ability to not panic and swing at anything. We all have had that moment pitching when you realize your opponent will not chase anything on two strikes. It's not a good time, right? So all right, sports gamers, I hope this video was able to help you out. And if you like the content we provide, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online so you don't miss anything we put out. And stay tuned here for more MLB The Show 22 tip videos. And hit that bell icon so you're notified when they drop. All right, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good, y'all.